Hello students, welcome back. So we will move on to the next topic. Solution to 1D bars. So till now we have derived uh, different derivations on higher order elements. So now we will move on to bars. We will derive an, uh, a stiffness matrix for a bar element. And then we will solve your numericals of uh, one dimensional bar element. Okay. So now, so we will derive the stiffness matrix of a bar element. Before moving on to deriving a stiffness matrix of a bar element, I think you all know that what is a bar? So a bar is a member which carries only tension or uh, compression loads and it does not carry any bending loads. Okay, so please make a note of that. Bars doesn't carry any bending loads, it carries only axial tension or axial compression. That's all. Okay, so such uh, members we consider it as a bar. So now, so this uh, bar syndrome would have already solved in your strength of materials. Uh, the similar uh, problems or a different problem can be solved using the finite element analysis. Now, we'll move on to derivation of stiffness matrix for 1D bar element. So in the finite element uh, method, in order to uh, find the solution for any bar element, so first we have to know the stiffness matrix of a particular member. Okay. So here, first we'll find the stiffness matrix of a bar element. Similarly, there is a stiffness matrix for a truss element, stiffness matrix for a beam element. So it all changes. First, you have to know the stiffness matrix of a particular member. And uh, that you can substitute in the, in the numerical to solve it. Any of that, that is, that you can substitute in the finite element equation. We, we know, we all know the finite element equation, right? KQ is equals to F. We are, I've given you this uh, equation in the steps in FEM itself. KQ is equals to F, where K is the stiffness matrix, Q is the displacement, and F is the force. Just go through the steps in finite element method in module 1, you will get to know it. Okay. Now, by direct method, consider a bar as shown in figure. So, we will consider a bar as shown in the figure. This can be represented as a linear element as shown in figure 2. So, the same thing can be represented as an in the finite element model or a linear element uh, which is shown in the figure 2 just a line diagram okay it has two nodes and as a field variable u it has two nodes correct so at the fixed condition we need one node so there is one node here and at the force where the force is acting there is one more node so this is node 1 and this is node 2 okay so we have two nodes and the field variable is u u1 and u2 are the field variable here the field variable is nothing but the displacements at the node 1 is u1 displacement at the node 2 is u2 the displacement at node 1 is u1 and displacement at node 2 is u2 that's what i said the forces at nodes 1 and 2 are f1 and f2 similarly the forces at node 1 is f1 force at node 2 is f2 is this clear okay so next finite element equation how do you write the finite element equation? I said you, I've already given you in the uh, steps in FEM, the module 1. So finite element equation is can be written as KQ is equals to F. So in some, we use different notation for the displacement. So instead of Q, small Q for displacement, I've used U as a notation for displacement. So instead of KQ is equals to F, I'll be writing KU is equals to F. Where K is the stiffness matrix, U is the displacement, and F is the force. Okay. The equation of forces can be written as from this, the equation of forces can be written as K11 U1 plus K22 U2 is equals to F1. So here, how do you write this uh, K11 uh, U1 is nothing but the force uh, that is at this point is the stiffness into displacement okay similarly uh, stiffness into displacement at the at the, at the node 2 the, the, uh, the, that is u2 is equals to f1 similarly k this is two just a second this is k12 Sorry, K21. Sorry, excuse me. This is K21. 
u1 plus k22 u2 is equals to f2. So if I write this two equations, this force two equations in the matrix form, I write I can write it as k11, k k11, k12, k21 and k22. Similarly, u1 and u2 and f1 and f2. So if you multiply this k11 like this, k11 u1 plus k12 u2. Okay, I'll be getting like this. So how do, how did I write this K11, K12? So to understand that I have here, okay. In structural mechanics, stiffness influences uh, influence coefficients Kij. Kij is defined as the unit force at node i to produce a unit displacement at node j while all the other nodes are restrained. So if I write K11, it is a unit force at node 1 to produce a displacement at node 1 itself. Okay. Similarly, this one, force at node 1 to produce a displacement at node 2. That's why it is U2. Is this clear? Now similarly, this one, force at node 2, because we are writing the uh, uh, for F2, force at node 2 to produce displacement at node 1. Similarly, force at node 2 to produce displacement at node 2, u2 itself. Okay. So, keeping these conditions in mind, we will try to derive the stiffness matrix of a uh, bar. Okay. So, in order to derive the stiffness matrix of bar, so let us assume few conditions first. So, here to find unit displacement at node 1, let us to find the displacement at node 1. So to find the displacement at node 1, what I have to do, I have to fix the node 2. So once I fix the node 2, I can find the displacement at the node 1. Similarly, to find the displacement at the node 2, I have to fix node 1 so that I can find the displacement at node 2. Okay. So we will do that one by one and then try to find the uh, equation or the stiffness equation to find the displacement at node 1. In the figure below, unit displacement is applied at node 1 and node 2 is restrained to induce a force K11. So that's what I said. So in this figure, displacement is applied at node 1 and node 2 is restrained, that is fixed. Okay, node 2 is fixed and the displacement is applied at node 1. So u1 is equals to 1. Displacement is u1. So u1 is equals to 1. And this is the force applied. That is f1 here at the node 1. And node 2 is fixed here. Understood? To induce a force, to induce a force k11. k11 is nothing but force applied at node 1 to produce a displacement at node 1 itself. Okay. So here K11 is force applied at node 1 to produce the displacement at node 1 itself. Is this clear? Whereas what will be this one? Force applied at node 2. This is the force applied at node 2 to produce the displacement at node 1 itself. Okay, because node 2 is fixed that will not have any displacement. So this is force and this is displacement. 2 is the force and 1 is the displacement. So K21 is force applied at node 2 to produce a displacement at node 1 itself because node 2 is fixed. Now the equation is clear how to write K11 and K21 or in simple words K21 will be nothing but opposite of that K11 in the in the opposite direction. This force say so two is so what we have is uh, reaction force. Okay. So now at node one, considering node one, we know the equation Young's modulus uh, is equals to stress by strain. So uh, stress is equals to Young's modulus into strain. Okay, so at node 1, what is at node 1? What is stress at node 1? Force by area, F1 by A. Young's modulus as it is. And what is uh, strain? Change in length by original length. Change in length is displacement, that is U1. And the original length of the element is Le. Okay, I have been written here, it is Le. Okay. So U1 by Le. So just uh, interchange this. Force by 
uh, f1 by u i have shifted this u1 to the denominator and a to the numerator f1 by u1 is equals to ae if the, this comes to the numerator it becomes ae into e, ae by le so what is f1 by u1 f1 by u1 is nothing but stiffness of the spring is am i right what is stiffness of the spring k is equals to sorry uh, uh, what is the force produced by the uh, spring? Force is force pr produced by the spring F is equals to stiffness of the spring into displacement. Displacement can be x or delta, anything. Okay, so P is the force is nothing but stiffness into displacement. So stiffness is equals to force divided by displacement. Okay, so force divided by displacement is nothing but stiffness. So it is. K11. Is this clear? So K11 is equal to AE by LE. Similarly, move on at node 2. Move on at node 2. At node 2, this one. You're able to see both the diagrams? Okay. At node 2. At node, what is the stress? Force by area. Force is in the negative direction. So minus F1 by A. That is equals to E into. And what is the displacement? Even though force is applied at this point, the display there is no displacement at this point. Displacement is only at this point. That is K21. Force applied at 2 to have a displacement at 1. Is this clear? So uh, even at the node 2, the equation becomes E into U1 by Le. Is this clear? Okay. So minus F1 by, just interchange this like the previous thing, minus F1 by U1 is equal to A, if you interchange this, A by LE. So K21 is equal to minus A by LE. K1 is equal to positive A by LE. K21 is equal to minus A by LE. Is this clear? Okay. okay. Similarly, we will move on to the next condition. In the next condition, node 1 will be restrained and displacement is applied at node 2 as shown in the given figure. Okay, as shown in the below figure. So here in the earlier case, what we did, we applied displacement at node 1 and fixed the node 2. So now we will uh, fix the node 1 and apply displacement at node 2. Simple, just uh, interchange. So now 1 is fixed, so u1 is equal to 0. 2 is free, so u2 is equals to 1, that is displacement will be there at the node 2. Force applied is F2. Similarly, reaction force will be F2 in the opposite direction here. Okay. So this is K12, that is force applied uh, at 1 to produce the displacement at 2. So force applied at this, that is reaction force applied right here to produce a displacement at 2. Force applied at 2 to produce a displacement at 2 itself. Force applied at 2 to produce a displacement at 2 itself. Okay. Now at node 2, stress is equal to Young's uh, modulus into strain. So what is stress at uh, node 2? F2 in the positive uh, uh, x-axis that is force by area is equal to E into what is strain? U2. There in the earlier case it was U1. So here it is U2 is the displacement. U2 by Le. So F2 by U2 is equals to just interchange this AE by Le. K22 is equals to this is K22. This is equals to AE by Le. Is this clear? Similarly at node 1. Take uh, node 1. If you consider node 1. If you consider node 1. What will be stress? Is equals to force by area. Force is in the negative uh, x-axis so it is minus f2 by a is equals to e divided by u2 by le even at this point u1 is equals to 0 the displacement will be only at the node 2 so it is u2 by le that is force applied at 1 to produce a displacement at force applied at 1 to produce a displacement at 2 is this clear so it is u2 by le so minus F2 by U2 just interchanges, minus F2 by U2 is equal to A, this becomes AE by LE, K1, 2 is equal to minus AE by LE, okay. So now, substitute, now, substitute all those 
all those things k11 k12 k21 and k22 in this equation okay so if you substitute all those things in this equation so first you have k11 k12 k21 k22 if you substitute all these things you will have this just take out ae by le common k is equals to ae by le 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay so my dear students this is called the stiffness matrix for a bar element this is called the stiffness matrix or the element stiffness matrix for a bar element so based on this uh, stiffness matrix we will be solving the numerical so this is a numerical next numerical we will be solving in the next class thank you so much